Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on New Super Lucky's Tale. Uh, the new in this title, it might sound, you know, like New Super Mario Bros, like this is, you know, a brand new, like, modern version of a classic game or whatever. It's not that, it's more like this is an enhanced port sort of thing. Um, kind of like how there's a bunch of games on the Switch that end in deluxe, it's like that. I believe Super Lucky's Tale was available on the Xbox One. And then they put this game out, which is like a, an enhanced port of it to the Switch. Um, I haven't actually played the game yet. Uh, it's a 3D platformer, which, I mean, if you've seen my channel at all, you know I love 3D platformers. You know that's that's my jam. <laughs> um, but I don't know how I'm going to enjoy this one, so we'll see how we go. Playful. NSLT, oh, New Super Lucky's Tale, yeah, NSLT, yeah. <laughs> guess it's, I guess it's loading, um, yep. Pop, 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 pop. Got a little spinner there. Still spinning. You might need to set up a save file the first time. Okay, we got a title screen. I turn the music up just a little bit so I can hear it. I can find the button. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, I don't have a remote for my television that I'm using. So I have to rummage around on the side whenever I want to mess with the volume and stuff like that. It's pretty fun. Okay, so I'll just press A to start game. N S L T. It started with the destruction of our home. Oh no. In a mad grasp for power, the sorcerer Jinx betrayed his friends and tried to steal our most powerful artifact, the Book of Ages. Oh no. The Guardian Order stood together to fight against him. But in the battle that followed, Jinx banished those that opposed him. His spell scattered the Guardians to unknown worlds, stranding them far from Sky Castle. Oh no. The few of us that remained took the book and ran. We spent years evading Jinx and his family of villainous children. The dreaded kitty litter. But we couldn't outrun him forever. Lyra, stay behind me, Lucky. Lyra? Okay. Not Lyra? We prepared to make our last stand in my home world of Foxington. But just when all hope seemed lost, something strange happened. The book reacted violently to Jinx's magic. Whether it did so to defend itself or to protect us, its pages scattered wildly in the storm it unleashed. The portal it opened was violent and unstable, pulling Jinx and his kitty litter to somewhere far from Foxington. But it wasn't the kitty litter the book wanted. Oh no! Without the Guardian sigil, my team can't travel between worlds. We've been stuck here ever since that day, waiting. I don't know where that portal took him, but I know that Lucky is still out there, somewhere within the book. My name is Lyra Swifttail. And I'm the current head of what remains of the Guardian Order. But this... This isn't my story. This is Lucky's Tale. That's the game title. Okay, so that intro was absolutely gorgeous. Just saying. Um... That animation... Was real good. Also kind of dark. I guess this is kind of a serious game. I don't know. I don't really know what to expect. But I mean, the, the villain is a, is like a cat for some reason. 
it seems a little silly, but also very serious. I don't know, it's a little, a little tonally confusing. Oh, is that lucky? Oh, little baby. Heavy heads, sky castle. Okay, we got little, little wormy guys. It's like a boomerang or something in there. Oh, and there's a giant head. Or whatever, I guess that's the heavy head. Oh, I can move? Okay, uh, so... I can move with the D-pad. Oh, no, I can't move with the D-pad, actually. I can only move with the analog stick, is what I was meant to say, but I, I got my words muddled. Uh, you can move in any direction. If you tilt it a little bit, you'll walk slow. If you tilt it all the way, you'll walk faster. It looks like it's full 360 degree movement. Uh, the right stick lets you move the camera around. It's a little weird. It kind of reminds me of Sunshine. Uh, the way the camera sort of tilts back like this instead of letting you look up. Hopefully that'll work out okay. In Sunshine that was very annoying. Uh, let me see. So I can w I'm running around with the D-pad. I can jump with B. Uh, I have a little bit of a double jump by looks of things. Y button, I do a little tail whip thing. Okay. Uh, a button is also jump. X button does nothing. Okay. Um, hello. Oh man, I must be really losing it. Go away, little figment of my imagination. I know you're not really here. Wait, you are really here. Oh my gosh, you're real. I'm so happy right now. Sorry, it's just been ages since I've had anyone to talk to. Oh man. Wait, I know that guardian sigil. Or are you a, are you a swift tail? Jeez, where are my manners? Welcome to Sky Castle, former home of the Guardian Order. My name is Greg, and I'm the male golem. At least, I was before the portals to the other world disappeared. I'd help you get home, but I'm uh, stuck here too. Even with your sigil, the book seems to be missing pages. We can't travel without them. You know, if that big gate was open, we could ask the other golems for help. Maybe if you ring that doorbell up there, they'll let us in. It's kind of hard to reach. Try tail swapping that switch over there. It might help you find the path. Okay, so yeah, we're looking at a tutorial here. So I just got to hit this with my tail. Boop. Okay, and that made that fall down. That's really pretty. Uh, you can sort of get stuck under here a little bit. It's a, it's a little, little jank. <laughs> B plus ZR. Okay, so like I've got like a ground pound. Sure. ZR hold. Oh, okay. Okay, I can do a Splatoon here. Alright. Yeah, this feels a lot like Splatoon. Oh, I like it. That is fun. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, hit the bell. Clang, clang, clang. And the door's open. Let's continue. Uh, before we do, let's just make sure we get everything. I don't know what these coins do yet. Maybe they're extra lives. It looks like I do have lives. Which, again, I think is a weird thing to have in a modern 3D platformer, just because they don't do much. Like, you're not going to run out of lives. And if you do, it just resets you to where you were, basically. Um, they seem like a bit of a relic. Which is why Odyssey took them out. And other games like Ukulele don't have them either, even if that game's not as good. Okay, I can get lots and lots of coins here. I'm guessing if I just grab all the coins, it'll give me, like, an extra life at 100, judging from the numbers I'm seeing here. But we'll have to get to 100 to be sure. Okay, that's something interesting. What's that? Like a... a diamond or something? What did that do? Oh, okay, it gave me, like, a bunch of extra monies when I picked it up. And I got past 100 and didn't get an extra life, so maybe they do something else. Uh, I'm getting a little confused trying to... whoa! Uh, that's me pressing plus. It gives you all these options. Can I change the camera around? It feels wrong somehow. 
Uh, let's try inverting that and see if that feels better. Yeah, I think that's better, yeah. I don't know, it, it felt wrong. That's why I kept looking the wrong way. But yeah, you can invert that, no problem. You've got options for that kind of thing. As we just saw. Uh, oh, invisible coins. Or like, semi-invisible coins. Still not really sure what these do, but I guess I can grab a bunch of them. So, that's cool. Uh, I don't know what these do either. Can I do something with digging around these little plants? No? Hmm. Hello. Yes, you got the door open. Sweet freedom at long last. It's time for this rock show to get rolling. Head on in and have a look around. I'll be right behind you. Oh, that's cool. So, um, I can't dig on this surface, so instead of digging, I do a little slidey move. When I press the ZL, ZR button. Does ZL do the same thing? Yeah, it does. That's more comfortable. I might use ZL. Woohoo! That is fun. <laughs> checkpoint. Okay, so these things are checkpoints. Understood. Master Mittens. What's this? A villain come to steal the rightful property of Jinx and the kitty litter? For whip whip whoosh, prepare yourself, for you face the wrath of Mittens, master of... of... Wait, that sigil. Are you a guardian? Oh, how I have waited for this day. Though I hope for someone taller, perhaps you could be my arch nemesis. Every hero needs a rival, and perhaps you will become mine. Ahem, but first, you must prove yourself worthy. I'll be waiting for you in Sky Castle, tiny rival. But for now, I vanish. Oh, yeah, he did vanish. <laughs> Just ahead. <laughs> hey, you, help my head out. The great golem was taking a nap when Sky Castle was attacked. My brothers and I barely had enough time to hide the clover pages we found before the strange cat knocked our heads off. Pick me up and take me back to my body by the bell. We need to wake the great golem if we're going to stop that fiendish feline. <laughs> Just ahead. <laughs> yeah, this is feeling a lot more light-hearted than the opening cutscene suggested. So, I don't know if... I, maybe there's just... just, there's just maybe there's just some tonal whiplash. I don't know. It's fine. Okay, so I can pick that up. Oh, I see. So you can carry things. I can't jump properly while doing that. I'm just pressing B right now. Uh, and I can't do much else. Oh, I can, I can dig, but I drop it if I, if I dig. So I guess I'll just carry it over here. Get it out of my way. Doo -doo -doo. I'm guessing I need all three to actually wake up the big golem. Or golem, or whatever. Yeah, I can see the eyes aren't lighting up. So, yeah, you can see there's, there's two more here. Yeah, we're going to need some more help. If you can find all three of us, we can wake him. Woohoo! Dig a dig a dig dig dig. Dig a dig a dig dig dig. I wonder if enemies can get me while I'm digging. Looks like no. I think these guys are enemies. Yeah, they are. <laughs> This is a lot of fun. Uh, I, I like it. I like the digging. Oh, when you pop up, it stuns them. Okay. Interesting. Alright. The music's really nice. There's something in here, right? Like a check mark? Maybe I already got it? I don't know. I did see something in here, though. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there's a letter over there. That's a U. Am I spelling out Lucky? I bet I'm spelling out Lucky. Because that's my name. Yeah, L-U. Okay, yeah, I'm spelling out my name. I think I missed getting the L. I think that's what was inside the cage, but I didn't notice. Is there a move the camera behind me button? 
Interestingly, no, it doesn't look like there is. That's a weird thing to omit. What's Dex? Nope. No. Huh. Hey, you just have to turn the camera. That is a really strange thing to, to, to lack in a platformer of this style. Hmm. Uh, by the way, you have to keep moving while you're digging. Like, you don't stay still. You, you move forward slowly even if you're not touching any direction. And yes, it feels a lot like Splatoon. <laughs> this thing? Can I dig under it, maybe? Nope. I grandpa on it. Nothing. Hmm. Not sure what to make of that one. Okay, these guys are spitting fire. We don't want to get burnt by the fire, so let's not get burnt by the fire. Oh, what did I just find? What's this thing? Oh, I think I know what this is for. Bring it back this way. Yeah, see that guy's got one little orb, but he needs two little orbs. Okay. Here's your other little orb. <gasps> Gems. Oh, did I find a portal? Buzz kill stingers hurt, send them back with a tail swipe. They should know better than to throw thing not better not to throw things. It's mean. Yeah, you got a point. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing this is like a bonus level sort of thing. Yeah, there's a skip option over there. Or you can go this way and do the bonus, I guess? Oh, it's like a mini boss. It's not very hard. <laughs> That was very easy. Uh, what did we get? Uh, we got it. That's an extra life, I assume. Yeah, and a bunch of coins. I what coins are for? I guess we'll see. And you can use that. That's like a springy thingy. Three hundred coins. Oh, okay. It's like in um, it's like in Thai. You get three hundred of the collectible, and that gives you the other collectible. Basically, yeah, yeah. In Thai, you have to get all three hundred opals in each level, and that gets you one of the um. Thunder eggs. In this game, I guess you get 300 coins and it gets you one of the clover pages. I think these things are clover pages. Yeah, okay. You know, there are a bunch of lost worlds in the Book of Ages. There used to be a whole division of guardians who explored the uncharted worlds. Neat, huh? So yeah, the the coins, it's, it's kind of like Mario 64, where you had to get 100 coins in each level in order to make one of the stars appear. But I think it's Maybe closer to Ty because you actually need 300, although you don't need all of them, which is what you needed in Ty. Because there were exactly 300 in each world. Here there's clearly more than 300, which is probably better, because it does means you're allowed to miss a few things and you don't, you know, get doomed. What's happening over here? Oh, a life! Thank you. Collected a number of like health pickups, but I haven't taken any hits yet, so it's kind of a waste. Okay, what do we got going on here? I can see a little hatch there. Can I? Yeah. Okay. I just whack it, and then a wire comes out. Okay. That was pretty easy. <laughs> Another head. Hello, just a head. Let's go this way. That's two hands out of three. Looks like you can't skip this cutscene, by the way. I'm just pressing a few buttons to see, and yeah, it's not skippable. It's not super long, so it's not a huge deal, but it would have been nice. This reminds me a lot of Splatoon, which is good because that game is incredibly charming. <laughs> oh. 
I like the noise coins make when you get them, it sounds good. I don't know if there's any point in getting more than 300. Maybe you can buy things with them? I don't know. There's also a life down there. Oh, there's a C. Get ready to spell lucky. <laughs> um, let me see. Down here, I think there's another one of them secrets. Yeah. It's gonna be another mini boss, so it's gonna be like a platforming challenge. I kind of wish it would keep these areas loaded because this loading screen is a bit annoying. Collecting more pages means opening more portals, and opening more portals means getting one step closer to finding your family. Ooh, a time trial. Okay. So you grab the little clock, and then you have to hurriedly do the rest of this stuff. Hopefully I get another try, because I kind of messed it up. Do I need to get all of them for this to work? I've got no idea. Did I do it right? I think I did something wrong. Hmm. And I got some coins, but I don't think I got everything I was supposed to. Hmm. Um. Well, now I'm somewhere else. So I guess the point of that area was to get you over here? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's confusing, though. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I can't dig my way in there. I've got to do something else. Oh, I see a letter. There's the K. <gasps> I spelled lucky. That's my name. I got a page. Okay, and there's one more for completing the level, I assume. Just ahead, got the head. Just ahead. <laughs> okay, and that gives me stairs so I can get back. Okay, cool. Uh, let me just check around the side here. Yep, there's more loot. I think I missed some back in the previous area as well, so I might backtrack a little bit. Can I jump that far? I'm not really familiar with this character's capabilities yet, but yes, I can jump that far. <laughs> I don't think I missed anything. It looks like there's four pieces to collect, and I got the other three, and I'm gonna get one for clearing the level. Hmm, I, I guess the um, time trial is just for bonus coins or something? I don't know. Confusing. Saw someone down there. Lucky is really cute, by the way, in case you're wondering. Look at this cutie. Can I slide down here with the... No, I can't. I'm pressing ZL, it's not doing anything. Okay, that should break up the big golem, or golem, or how you pronounce it. Yeah! <gasps> he actually said yeah! Oh, same! Okay, so you spell out the letters for, for one clover. Okay, so I have done everything. Spell out the letters for one clover, you get a certain number of coins for another clover, and you, you find a hidden one somewhere in the level. 
Okay. I wonder if they're all exactly the same number or if different levels will be different. Ah, uh, my delivery was terrible. I get it. I get it. I like puns. <laughs> okay, so that was Heavy Heads. That's the level we just did. It looks like the overall number of coins is staying between levels, so maybe we can buy things with them. Oh, okay, and you just need a certain number of clovers to unlock the boss. Uh, how did you get here so fast? No matter. I accept your challenge, tiny as you are. If you can find the pages before me, then we shall battle. I look forward to your eventual defeat, but for now, ka-chow! I vanish. That's a pretty gimmicky villain. Well, that was intense. Huh, this place should be crawling with golems. Think that cat scared them all off? Why don't you head off to Mittens and the Clover pages while I scatter around and see what's up? Okay, this is giving me intense Spyro 2 vibes. Because, like, you start in a level, and then you come out of the level, and you're in a, like, a hub world full of little warp rooms. This is very similar to Spyro 2. And that's very good, because I like Spyro 2. <laughs> uh, can you hit the this bell do anything? Oh, yes, it gives me some money. I guess, I assume I need to spend the money on something, otherwise it wouldn't keep it between levels, but I don't really know what it's for. Uh... Let's have a look at the menu here. World select. Oh, spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> Don't look at that. <laughs> Wonder why it's showing where all the worlds are at the beginning of the game. Giovanni. Yo, it's nice to see a new face around here. Welcome to Quartermaster Giovanni's supply station. Visit me whenever you want to upgrade your style. Okay, so I can buy stuff from you. With, my, with the coins I've been collecting? Oh, okay. <laughs> Head au naturel, body au naturel. Okay, so there's other clothes you can unlock. I assume... Oh, I don't want that. Protect and serve. That's a cop outfit. No thank you. Okay, so... It looks like the clothes are pretty expensive. Like 700 coins for the first one. Hmm. I'm guessing the other ones unlock as you get more clover pages. But we'll see. Uh, over here we've got another level. I'm just having a look around the hub first, and then we can head into some of these levels. I don't know if I'm going to do, like, an on-camera playthrough of the whole game. I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, I am enjoying the game, though. Okay, so here we've got, like, a side area with one clover page in it. Let's go have a look. I'm not sure what wants me to use ZR instead of ZL. I mean... They both work, but, you know, I'm an Odyssey kind of gal, and in Odyssey, you use ZL. ZR still works, but it's, it's not what the game encourages you to use. Do I look like I want your company? I'm making puzzles here. Jeez. You want to try and solve it? Be my guest. Okay, so we've got a puzzle. Hmm. It's like a block pushing sort of thing? Yes. Okay, uh... Let me see, can I just walk into these to push them, or what do I do? Oh, you hit them with your tail. Alright, that makes sense. I'm guessing I want to get this one that looks like me over to the side there. Okay. It's not very hard. <laughs> Assuming that's the intended solution. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Okay, yeah, great. So you solved it. This does not make us friends. I want to be clear on that. Now get out of here. Hm. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I'm, I'm so glad Lucky actually says yeah when you get a page. That's so great. <laughs> uh. So it looks like there's one, like, main page in each level, and, like, some sub-challenges sub to do. The pacing's a bit better than, say, Mario 64, where you always have to restart the level each time you do an objective. Um, but not quite on par with Odyssey, where you can just grab a whole bunch of stuff in sequence. Uh, hello, are you a villain? Mysterious stranger. A golem? Me? Oh, of course, yes, I am indeed a golem. 
Just a golem. Nothing to see here. On your way, little fox. On your way. Well, you're mysterious. Stranger. But you know, if you say you're a golem, I will trust you. Maybe I should change the camera controls back again. I'm getting confused about them again. I don't know what they should be. Uh, like, I know invert and normal are the two options, but I don't know what the difference really is. Let's see, yeah, if I want to look to the right and move the camera, move the stick to the right. Yeah, that, that, that's right. That's it. I want to look left, move the stick left. Yeah, okay, that, that works. Dungeon run. This hub isn't quite as detailed as some of the ones in Spyro, but it's pretty detailed. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of little puzzles, like sub-puzzle, sub-sub-areas sub with like, a, probably, probably their puzzles, but I haven't gone into them, so I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, and then up here there's the boss, right? Lucky, this is bad. Like, capital letters bad. Mittens has completely hypnotized the Sky Castle Golems for his own personal ninja army. Man, talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. They're camped out in the old portal courtyard, which is where we need to go if we... I mean, if you want to leave this world. With enough clover pages, you should be able to use their power to break the lock. Please, you've got to help my friends. So yeah, you need, like, a couple more pages. Doing one more level should be enough. Which is good, it doesn't require you to do everything. Um, yeah, I don't know which way I want the camera to be set. I keep getting confused every time I try to move it, regardless of which setting it's on. <laughs> hmm. This part of a puzzle will help you find them. I'm not very good at puzzles, they stress me out. I feel like the load times are a little long, but eh, it's, it's manageable. Uh, it's not too bad. You know, I ain't had nothing to do but make all these puzzles since the Guardian's up and got lost. Just a hobby of mine. You think you can solve this one? Because I'd like to see you try. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Right over there, move that down there. Move that over there. Move it up there. Is that across there? Is that down there? Is that... Yeah, these are easy. <laughs> and that goes to there. Gimme them coinies! I'm not gonna say I'm impressed, but I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah, you did good, kid. Now make like a rock and roll out of here, yeah? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game is very cute. Looks like you don't really have an array of different jumps like you do in, in a Mario platformer, which is interesting. You've just got a jump. And like jumping more than once doesn't boost you higher or anything. I kind of wish you could skip that. Like I know it's gonna open when I get all the clovers, but I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, you don't like jump higher if you do two jumps in a row, or jump out of a ground pound, or jump out of a dig or anything. It actually, it's a little tiny jump, as you can see. Hmm. Like it's not, it's not the same style of platforming that Odyssey has to offer, but it's, it's fun. It's fun. The lack of a like hover move is interesting though, because this feels a lot like Spyro, but that game has hovering, and this one does not. Hmm. List fire damage me? Uh, no. I just get knocked away from it. Harmlessly. Okay. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Sort of. <laughs> Um, let's just go to the next level from the beginning, I guess. So that'd be this one, Aqueducts. Is it going to be a swimming level? The name sort of implies it might be. Yeah, that's very Spyro. There are dozens of chapters in the Book of Ages. We don't know who wrote them, but it's your job to make sure the stories are protected. It's the very definition of being a guardian. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Rise of the Guardians now. Remember that movie? 
but like Santa Claus was Russian and everyone was extremely into Jack Frost. Pow pow, welcome to the aqueducts of doom, tiny adversary. Cats don't take well to water, but not even the threat of a bath will stop me from my mission. You think you can best me in these shadowy halls, you are sorely mistaken. I am a master of the unseen. Whoosh! I vanish! Okay, um... Oh, okay! This level is a side-scroller. Like, I, I cannot move forward or backwards. I move the stick up or down, nothing happens. And there's no camera control at all. Right stick does nothing. Interesting. So I guess this game has just holy side-scrolling levels. What do we got here? Uh, press that button. Press that button. Oh, there we go. Yell! Yay! Can I fall off the edge here? Yes. Oh, it doesn't hurt me though. Oh, it does hurt me a little bit. Okay, so falling off the edge does one damage. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Did I keep the L? If I like pause, can I see what I've got? Or maybe press minus? Pressing plus and minus does exactly the same thing. I just... Oh, yeah, there's the L. I do have it. Okay, cool. And it says I have 25 coins, so I guess that's in this level rather than overall. Oh, this looks scary. Oh, I see, they're gonna flip over and be spiky. Let's grab that heart. Oh, okay. If you get them all, oh, an extra life. Okay, I'm guessing that the other one was also an extra life because I got everything that needed to be got in that level. Looks like you have a little bit of a ledge grab, so if you don't get quite enough height, you're okay, which is good. Lucky feels a little, I guess, heavy uh, when platforming, which is kind of weird, but eh, it's alright. Hello, kitty. Ah, oh, this gave me coins instead of attacking. Alright. <laughs> You know, this side-scrolling stuff, it feels very, um... Donkey Kong Country Returns and Tropical Freeze. It feels like those games. Although it doesn't quite control the same way, but it does feel the same when you're in this particular perspective. Oops. Hmm. I'm glad falling down a pit only does one damage instead of just killing you. I think that's pretty, pretty good. It fits with the slightly weird controls. <laughs> Kind of weird that you can't use the D-pad in, even in this section. Like, the D-pad does nothing in this game. I'm pressing it now. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm over here now. These remind me of the, um, ghost quills and stuff in Ukulele and the Impossible Lair, which is kind of fun. Okay, extra life for me. Is that everything? Do I have something on the other side? Oh, there's a secret page. Got the secret page. Hidden page. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <sighs> Ow! Okay, taking a hit is not too bad. That is the first actual hit I've taken in the game. <laughs> oh, I see. He's trying to prank me. Ow. Into running into the death pits and stuff a lot, which is succeeding because I'm not doing too well. Oh no! Oh wow, that was dark. Oh, loading? Okay. Giovanni has new clothes in each world to change the way you look, but I think you're great just the way you are. Okay, so that's kind of like Odyssey. You unlock more uh, clothing options as you progress, which is cool. I actually jumped on him that time, but it still didn't actually defeat him. Ugh. I expected that to make me roll forward a bit, but it, it doesn't. Hmm, this is a little... Jank. 
Am I supposed to just chase him? Yeah, okay, he leaves and just leaves the K behind. Okay. Got the K. I'm not sure there's been any dirt I can actually dig in in this area. Maybe you only see that in, like, site in, um, proper 3D areas? I don't know. Oh, big gem. Give me that big gem. Checkpoint. Oh, checkpoints heal you. That's good. I wasn't sure about that. Okay, I can see the Y over there. How do we get over there? Is it through there? Probably. Hello. Phew, thanks for the rescue. That little kitten is recruiting golems into his army, but his mind control hoodoo didn't work on me. He threw me in that cage, but little did you know that I had this. Um, I'm not really ready to collect that yet. Can I get past it? Oop. Oh, I guess not. Yeah! It's actually a little annoying because I wasn't quite done. Um, oh, there was a Y button to replay the level. I didn't, I didn't say that. I press the button too quickly. <laughs> Here's a tip, tell a friend you care about them. Like, a small friend. A small, rocky, round-headed friend. I care about you. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, I was not done in that level, so I guess I've got to go and do it again. That's a little annoying. I don't know if the letters stay collected or I have to get them all again. We'll see. Lucky? Wait, you're Lucky Swifttail? I've heard all about you. I know your parents knew your parents before before be well before everything went to heck. I'm Portal Master Pete. I'm what they used to call a gatekeeper. Oh no, a gatekeeper? Disgusting. I managed all of the portals in the main castle before it disappeared. Okay, so let's go back in and see if it'll let me just do the part I missed. Don't be scared if you become a marble. Just take it slow and pick up all the coins you can. I guess I'll be becoming a, be becoming a marble at some point in this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, these side-scrolling levels play very differently to the... Okay, I've got to say this again. Okay, so I guess they just you just do the whole level again. I oh, know the letters the letters stay collected. Interesting. All right. So in some ways it doesn't quite work the way I feel it should. Hmm. Let's look at this again. Never had to get some lives. again give me anything? Doesn't look like it. I feel like I should have something to help me collect stuff because I don't know, I like the ability to throw my cap at it, you know? Because when there's like things just floating in the air there, I, I want them but they, they're not easy to grab. <laughs> okay, there's a K, which apparently I don't already have. No, I have the K. I guess that's a fake K that he's holding, and like the real K only shows up once he's been chased around enough. Kind of confusing, but all right. Oh, oh, oh! oh. I thought that was a wall. Okay, <laughs> that's a little confusing. <laughs> Those wormy thick guys look so friendly. It's a shame that they're enemies. They seem nice. Okay, I want to go to there. I think. Like down this hole. Okay, that leads me to here. Clang. Okay. Oh, it's those bees that the game was talking about earlier. Oh, jeez, I got stuck. 
That was a bit, a bit junky. Got the letter Y. Okay, then I can go down this other portal. Okay, and that pops me out over there. Okay, and then I can grab this life. And I can rescue you again. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that the story re-happens, but eh, I guess it works. Like, in a Spyro game, you expect everything to stay done. Uh, and in Odyssey, you expect everything to stay done as well. But in this game, that doesn't happen. Have you seen your brother Lucas? Now there's a fox who really knows how to get lost in a good book. He's like a hide-and-seek champion. Okay, um, I guess I'll do another major level just to get an idea of... Like, by major level, I mean another, like, normal level instead of a little puzzle or whatever. Just to, just to see, like, a bit more of what the game's about, and then we'll call it a video. Uh... Can I go in there? Oh, I can. Okay. There was a gem in there. <laughs> Do you sell other stuff yet? I'm guessing I need to unlock the next world for the next, like, set of things to show up. Because I said in each world that they, they offer different things. Alright. Go fetch. Sure, I'll do that. Tess is scary smart. Emphasis on the scary. Which is what you call, they call an explosive genius. Take cover around her machines, okay? Oh, she sounds cute. N-S-L-T. Okay, I see a head. And a big golem. Golem? My skills are great, but not even a Mushu master like myself could breach the castle's defences. What's that? You think, uh, you think you could do what I could not? Fool, I dare you to try. There's a terrible beast up ahead guarding the path. If you can defeat him, you may indeed be worthy of facing me. Someday. But for now, ka-chow. I vanish. Does he just show up in every level like that? Hey, yo, Lucky, it's me, Giovanni. Bet you didn't recognize me without the hat, huh? Uh, this, this is a little awkward for me. So yeah, the castle guard dog has been acting a little crazy since that cat showed up. I tried to calm him down, but he, uh, he ran off with my body. Would you mind carrying me until we find it? Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna go look over here first. Is there nothing over here? Huh. That's really surprising. Like, wh why let you go back there if there's nothing back there? Hmm. Maybe there'll be something if I go there while holding the head? Nope. Alright. By the way, I can move the camera, but not a lot. Like, it stops about here. It won't let me turn it all the way around. So it's kind of semi-side semi -side scrolling and semi-open worldy. It kind of reminds me of, uh... I've actually played the game, but it reminds me of Mario 3D world levels, where you can move the camera around a bit, but it's sort of got a fixed idea of what direction you're going from, if that makes sense. This is not very hard, by the way. Carrying a head. It's, it's a little annoying, but it's not actually hard. Checkpoint. Uh, as I meant. Oh god. As I mentioned earlier, you can't jump while you're holding a head, so. Because I can just drop the head. Can I drop it? Yeah, I can. So, if I need to dodge something, I can just drop it. Oh, where'd it go? Did it expire? Oh, it's back here. Okay. Well, that's annoying.
Got the letter U. Well, lucky, which is which is me. Lucky the fox. <laughs> Say let it down there. Let us see. Also for Lucky the Fox. Yeah, this escort mission is not great. Hmm. It's one of the weaker levels so far, I would say. <laughs> it's, it's not terrible. It's, it's not fantastic. Rough intruder. Hey now, calm down there, boy. No, no, bad dog. Rough. Oh jeez, you might want to run. Are you, are you a dog? Or just a like a fireball. This is confusing. <laughs> I still need to get coins in order to get the page or whatever, so I've got to keep grabbing these. <laughs> I'm not sure if I need 300 to this, or maybe a smaller number. Doesn't seem like it'd be possible to get to 300, this level just seems a lot simpler. Oh my god. Oh, there's the body. Whew, there we go. Ugh, it's all slobbery. Thanks for the help, kid. I tell ya, there's no body like your own body. Whew. Okay, there's a bunch of gems in here. Maybe that'll get me up to the right number. Not quite. Can I go back down and grab some more coins? It looks like it. Okay, I'm much faster now, so I should be able to deal with this. Use a bit of sliding. Giovanni is really interested in lost pages. He says they're inspiring. Find enough of them and he might have a new costume for you. Okay, so... You get costumes for changing worlds and for getting the pages, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, what do we got now? Go away, Wormy. Okay, the camera is now in full 360 degree movement mode again, instead of little challenge area movement. Um, so that's good. And I'm getting confused about which way to move the camera already, because... <laughs> video games! Okay, uh, we got some coins here. But also some gems, which is probably what I want. Yep, 300. Okay, so the number's the same. I wasn't sure if it changed between levels. It might, but I'm guessing it probably won't, because this one's so different and it still had the same total. That's probably enough. Checkpoint. Can I just dig under those fireballs? Or will they still hurt me? Looks like just digging was the trick. I don't know if I actually managed to dodge them or if it was just the digging that protected me. Secret? Secret area? Secret area? Best buddies with Jinx would have betrayed the Guardian Order. I hope we never have a falling out like they did. Because you're my best buddy. Oh, What a sweetie. Okay, um, what have we here? I'm guessing the secret page is in here, but I don't... What? Alright. I'm just trying to get past this B or whatever? Let's go this way? Okay. No? Maybe I have to defeat it? I'm a little confused. 
What do you want me to do, game? Oh, I'm trying to grab all of the coins. Okay, there's a little, there's a little uh, counter on the side there that comes up. There we go. Good for us. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Mushrooms are really bouncy. You jump on them, you can leap really high. It's totally exciting. And a little scary. Yeah, I feel like the sub areas should be loaded at the same time as the main area to avoid this loading mid level. But, yeah. I guess it, I guess it makes sense that they're not, sort of. I don't know. Lena. Hmm. Oh, look at that little friend. Little mouse. Or squirrel or what is that? Hamster? I d I don't know. Little friend. Beep. Ooh, platforms. I like those. Hmm, I kind of wish you had something a bit more like Odyssey where you can change direction and recover that way rather than just a double jump, but I guess a double jump does the same basic thing. It's just not as, like, it doesn't feel quite right. I don't know. <sighs> Does that make any sense? I'm glad the combat's very simple. That that fits well in the in a platformer. Rather than having, you know elaborate combo systems and stuff, which do not fit well in a platformer. Grr, rough intruder. How did you get here? Oh. Oh, little now. Okay, well, that's the, the ending page, but I don't want that yet. I still need to find the last letter. Is it over here? Hmm. It is the last one I'm missing, right? The Y, yeah. So the Y must be around here somewhere. Like, they should be in order. I'm assuming they're in order, they might not be. Wait, did I get more coins reading that again? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I guess it gives you coins three times. Oh, there's the Y, it's over there. Uh, can I jump to that or do I need to drop down? I might want to climb up higher and then drop down. Yeah, you just drop down here and get some coins if you want, and then you can grab it. And that's the last letter! The lack of camera centering behind the player button is very weird. It's like, 
not, no, nothing does that. None of the buttons. Hmm. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got everything. I like this game. Um, it's a little messy in places. Like, I'm not gonna deny that there's some things it could do better. Like, um, the camera. As far as I know, L and R do nothing. So they could censor the camera behind you and they don't do that. Um. Oop, cutscene. Oh, that guy's here now. Okay. I do like how the way the hub world is changing. It reminds me of Galaxy's Hub, actually. It, it had similar sort of things going on. And Galaxy 2 as well. Actually, especially Galaxy 2 worked like this, with the little cutscene. Yo, Lucky, I've got some new costumes for you. Come by and see what's in stock. You yeah, alright? Thanks for helping me save little Sparky there. He gets hit it up sometimes, but he's a sweet little spark at heart. Need anything while you're here? What have you got? Oh, the favorite fedora. Adventure adventure vestments. Uh no thanks. <laughs> Uh, maybe one of these will be good, but so far, no. I guess I'll just keep waiting until they give me something I actually want. <laughs> uh. Hello, little puppy. I don't know why you're a puppy, like, you're clearly like a fireball creature. But you're a puppy. Anyway, um, I guess that's it for this video. Like, we've had an, a little look at the beginning of this adorable game. Um, I like it. I am probably gonna enjoy it more. Um, I do wish it did a few things differently. Uh, it feels a bit less technical than Odyssey. The load times aren't super great. Um, and the camera control is weird. Uh, I don't understand why it doesn't have a, you know, put the camera behind you button. I, it's like the first platformer I've played that I can, I can think of that doesn't have that button. That is just the thing that, that these games have. Um, and like the X button and the D-pad all don't do anything. There's room to map some more things. Hmm. Apart from that though, this looks super adorable and I am looking forward to playing more of it. And yeah, I especially like this, this uh, Splatoon digging thing that you can use to travel around a bit quicker and sneak past enemies and all sorts of stuff. It's very cool. Oops. That didn't work. <laughs> there we go. Hello, little bunnies. And yeah, the visuals are really nice too. It looks very cute. It has a very Spyro vibe to the level, to the worlds and stuff, and I think that is hugely in its favor. Feels good. It also kind of reminds me of the Splatoon hubs, actually. Although, it's a lot more natural, I guess. Splatoon hubs were very uh, urban. I suppose. <laughs> kind of, it's just kind of a city sort of thing that you're hanging out in, but this game it's, you know, it's like a jungle or whatever. I guess we'll see what the la later worlds are like. I imagine it'll have different aesthetics, but eh. yeah, Good game. Good game. I'm looking forward to playing more of this. Um, I, I guess I'll, I might, uh, I'm probably gonna play off camera, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll play more of it on camera. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This has been New Super Lucky's Tale, a 3D platformer that's sometimes a 2D platformer, but always has this cute little fox with a cute tail, and it reminds me of Spyro, and I like it, and it controls pretty good. And I like the little skidding thing you do when you go on a surface you can't dig on. It's pretty adorable. And I like how you go, yeah, when you get a page, because it's super cute. And I was like, oh wow, it's what I say in order to see, except it's actually part of the game. 
instead of just me adding a thing that isn't part of the game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's this game. <laughs> Bye!